Welcome to the instructional video for the Leica Krios 4009. So starting from driver's side, so it's 2.3 150. This one's been fitted with an additional gas flow system. Fill the gas flow system up, take out the little filler point, put your gun on that, fill it up. Some people will tell you to fill it up with your valves either closed or open. These are the valves to get gas into the vehicle. You need to open up the dials and then select which side you want the gas to come in from. Again, you can open up both if you want or close both. It's entirely up to you. This one I'm gonna use the left-hand side so you'll see the gas has gone green. Behind that, we have external barbecue point and then your habitation door with your awning light and your awning. Your awning opens just at the end on that side with the hook that's supplied with the vehicle. Toilet cassette, you press the two buttons, let the drawer come down, lift up the handle, slide it out, remove the grey cap, turn it upside down to empty it using the vacuum button at the bottom, so press that in. We'll stop any uh, splashbacks and let the air flow out of the unit. Clean it out, put the cap back on, and slide the toilet cassette back in. Now this won't open if your toilet blade valve inside is not in the correct position, and I will come onto that shortly. The Lycas have a double locking door, so you've got to pull on them twice. That will give you access into the rear area. We have a mains point and a 12 volt point there. A large storage area. Your winding handle and your centre rafter is just located there. And we have a light in this area as well, which is just turned on at the top here, once you turn power onto the vehicle. The rear of the vehicle, there is a tow hitch, which customers added, and a rear view camera at the top. The door on this side again, so we're double action with the door. That will give you access into here and more importantly access into the drain point for your fresh water system so that is located in this area here so press the hatch down and it's clearly marked so on this side the little wheel black wheel at the top if you turn it clockwise it will fill it up and anti-clockwise will empty it if you only do that one it will only fill the tank up to 20 percent however if you do the one on the other side that will then allow you to fill the tank up to 100 percent of its capacity so remember, both of them for 100% anti-clockwise on that one, just to fill it up for the 20 litres, but that one must be closed. It, to empty both, you wind them both anti-clockwise, and that will empty the water. Should you forget when you're filling up your water, which I'll show you in a minute, the water will come out directly underneath this area, underneath the vehicle. And the red cap, for your own knowledge, is an apex point into the fresh water tank if you want to put anything in to clean it. So, filling up the fresh water. This is done from this position here. Just use your key to open the filler and then put water in using a normal hose pipe. Directly above that is your mains plug-in point. So that's where you want to put electric into the vehicle. In front of that, we have an external shower point. So this will be able to be mixed depending on what you've got it set at inside the vehicle on your hot and cold. And we've got your vent for your truma system, for your heating. It does get warm, so just be careful. There is no cover to remove or anything like that on this particular one. So that's this side. You've got your two fridge vents located in the middle as well. Forward of that, we've got your diesel. Just open it using the Fiat key. And like most Fiat's, bonnet release catch is just located there. The battery is located just underneath this section here. To spin the seats around, press that down and swivel them. You've got seat height adjusters just on here, front and back portions, back rest adjuster and your arm rest adjusters are just fine underneath there. We have got a storage area, drinks holders, another storage area up there, automatic climate control and the Fiat na navigation, media and radio phone Bluetooth system. Media port just goes in underneath there and we've got the new phone 
the tablet holder that's located just on there. That just pulls towards you and then releases down. Push them both back down and then clip that button at the side back up. Push down to lock in place. Remy's cab lines are standard and they operate on all the windows, both front and side windows, to block out the light. The mirrors fold in manually, but then automatically adjust with a control on the driver's side. Underneath the bonnet, this is where you'll find the bonnet release handle. You have negative, positive underneath that cap, and you use the end of your Fiat key to get underneath that. And screen wash is just located on that side. On the driver's side, we've got windscreen wipers, leather steering wheel, steering wheel controls and then we've got your step option so as soon as you start the engine if your step is out you can press the button there we are getting up to the rear of the vehicle and it will go in and close. Underneath this compartment is where there's some Fiat fuses and we've got your reversing camera screen located just there. Behind the driver's seat is where your fuses and your isolation point is located so if you do need to know there is also a main socket located just down there as well moving to the inside of the vehicle the door works off your central locking key or you can manually open it to lock it you can press that down from inside and then just squeeze that together to open it back up blind, fly screen and your bin is located just there and the step button is just located there which then pulls out the step to gain entrance into the vehicle. Moving inside the vehicle we've got your control panel, turn the power on you press the centre button that turns all the power onto the control panel, takes a few seconds then we'll also bring into light items that were left on previously. Your 12 volt USB charging points will need the auxiliary button to be pressed for it to work. You've got your 12 volt power to the vehicle so that will activate all the lights. Your pump button to activate the water pump. External awning light which will light up the outside of the vehicle. On this side here by pressing that one you've got your battery levels. So it'll tell you what is in your leisure and your engine batteries and the next one along will tell you what's in your fresh and your wastewater levels. Yep. To the side of that we've got your bed operation. So press it down and you will see the bed will start to come down. Please make sure you've no obstructions underneath it. You have got your own lights up there. You can watch the TV if you fit a TV which is located just there and you have your own flash screen and blinds either side you'll see the little black points either side of the bed that's to put the safety nets in and you've also got them up here either side as well we do say you can put your duvets and pillars be careful if the pillars are really thick if they are please find another suitable area for them uh, otherwise just don't force it up just let it go up gently and it will stop at the desired height in this compartment here at the back just located up there is where you will find the point that you will put the manual winder in that comes with the pack and you'll just slot it in around the side here up in the hole just up there in front of that we've got storage area an opening roof light with a blind on it another storage area here another storage area just located just up there light switches for the cab area is on that switch there and then adjusters for the uh, seat belts are located there it's an automatic gearbox you'll see it on the on the top of it you have a little ratio option so you can press this when you're in uh, automatic only it allows you to start on a uh, steep slope when it's wet or muddy gives you a bit more traction You've also got Traction Plus and Hill Descent, a lock button hazard light, climate control and the unit I mentioned earlier. On this side we've got your uh, cruise control and speed limiter, we've got your lights and your indicators just located there. Large seat here, 
behind is the TV that the customer's added. It does slide down and you can use the little button just underneath there. So I'll just press it out and that will allow the unit to slide down and then push it back up for it to go up. Above it is where we have mounted or where has been mounted the booster box. So that does need to be turned on and that will give you the signal for the status aerial that's fitted to this model. That is a, an optional extra on that particular model. Heater controls, similar to a lot of the videos that we've done already and we have a separate one running on this already on our YouTube channel. But you will press the temperature of the vehicle by selecting it just on this option on the top right. Press the button, move it along if you've got water in your vehicle to the next option. Press it, it will give you the option of having it off on eco which is 40 degrees, hot which is 60 degrees or boost which will take all the power away from the heating to get the water up to temperature. You must make sure that you've filled your boiler first before you do this and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The next option along is your fuel source, so gas, mix one and gas, mix two kilowatt electric and gas, one kilowatt electric or two kilowatt electric. So I'm going to select gas, we've got gas on running on the vehicle, so just press the button to select it and you'll see the bottle appears above. And the next option being your heating for the fan speed, eco, high, or again, if you run it high for a while, it will allow you then to boost and then take all the power away from the hot water to do the heating. If you do get a fault on, then it will appear at the bottom, check your handbook uh, to tell you what the fault code is, to reset the fault. So you would either click onto the diamond and it will go away, or you will spin it all the way around to this little spanner at the bottom right hand corner here, press it, turn it again all the way around to reset, preset, and that will basically restart the system. If you've only done it once, it'll restart it and it'll be fine. You will have to reset your clock. If it continues doing it, just check what you're trying to do. Maybe it's that your electric post is tripped or your gas is not turned on. But to turn the unit off, press and hold it. And that turns the unit off. Your leisure battery is located underneath the forward facing seat. So just in this position here. And to fill up the boiler, you're going to look at this particular valve down here. Which I will show you when you come to collect it. They're always in the most uh, awkward positions. So you can't see it. So I will show you this when you come to collect it. Now that must be closed to allow you to fill up the water uh, boiler and the heating. Uh, just there. But I'll explain it when you come. In front of that is the solar panel regulator. When it's, you don't really need to do anything with this, but it will flash away to let you know what power is going into it. There is a fuse just down there, just to be aware of as well. That is your main fuse for the batteries. And under that is where the boiler and the Truma heater is located. So I will explain that heating uh, drain valve, frost protection valve, when you come and collect the vehicle. Back of that, where well, you've got your drainer. And again, once we know that that boiler's valve is closed, we would turn the tap too hot, turn the water pump on and then run the water until you've got a steady stream. Once you've got a steady stream on both this tap and your bathroom tap, you'll know that the boiler's full, you can go to the operation on the heating system and turn that on. Only do that for the water if you know there is water in your boiler. Front makeup bed happens in two sections. You will press the table down and there is a locking bar underneath the table which is just that bar there which will need to be turned in the correct way to hold it down otherwise the table will just pop back up once you've done that quite a simple one it will then extend and then get the cushion in the right position it will only go one way and then that formulates the additional berth underneath should you wish 
Moving to the rear, we've got your two singles. Again, they will lift up to give you access underneath. Again, we've got your TV box just there. Access in, also is gained through the handles there and they just close just like that. Storage. And then on this side, we've got your additional storage through into there and your main breaker. This is your RCD breaker, so the little orange switch. If you don't think you're getting power to the vehicle, press the orange switch in, and that should trip it if you're hooked up to mains. Always a little key pointer for you to check, and that's located underneath the passenger bed. Either side, you have your own lights and some other switches just above, just on that side, and again, plenty of storage in here. The roof light operates by twisting the handle and then give it a little gentle helping hand. That will then operate the roof light to open up the vehicle. Closing it, spin it all the way around and then do it until it's a couple of extra turns. Just give it a little gentle push to make sure and then pop that back in the position there. The roof light does have a fly screen and a blind fitted to it. The side roof lights are also equipped with fly screens and blinds. So clip that up, flip it down, and then you will see that your fly screen and your blind is located there. To release it, you just pull in these little options here. That releases it off. And that's the same on both sides of the back. Lighting options are found in the front, just using the switches just there, and also on the lighting strip here. That will do several other lights that have other points within the vehicle and your bathroom light. You will see your bathroom light also turns off here. We have your indicator for your flush, so press that, water will come out through the toilet. And this is the cassette blade valve I mentioned earlier that must be in the closed position. If it's left like that, it won't open. To open and close it, you just slide the valve left and right. Left to close, right to open. In the area up here, you have a main socket, just located there, and a 12 volt socket just above. The opening vent will just pull down and then open up and close to let ventilation out of there. Before setting off in the bathroom, make sure that the turnbuckle is closed on this door and the popper is just on that. When you're bleeding the water through, again, make sure that the taps are in the position for the hot water to come out. And then we've got another storage area, just located, just underneath there. Kitchen wise, Four burner hob and a grill oven. It has a light and a rotisserie and an igniter for all your electric. Pretty self explanatory, it does run off gas. Grill, please leave it open. Oven, you can just close. And you'll see your light just turns on and off, just on a switch there. Below that, you've got a drawer and you've also got storage just there and the same in this area so your storage your gas law adapters your rotisserie attachment and your plug sockets are just located there in this one we've got storage again they are a weight restriction on these drawers opening and closing so just be careful not to overfill them. Light switch, just located just above here, and your extractor fan. And above it, we've got your stator stereo pole, which is located just there. All you need to do is re release the collar at the top, twist it, push the pole up, set it to the position that you want it using the booster box in the TV cupboard, and then lock it in place. Please remember to pull that down before setting off. 
and again another storage compartment just above and we have two storage areas one at the top and the one below has all your isolation valves and your water pump just located in there we have access to your underfloor which you do lifting up the hatch to expose the underfloor storage do need to be lined up and then they will slot back in nice and easily we have your fridge unit so again to turn it on by starting it will illuminate on so you can tell quite easily source on electric gas and engine battery only or you can select the automatic function should you wish you've got a temperature gauge from warmest to coldest and a reset button just as it says there if you do need to reset it to turn the unit off just press and hold and they'll individually lock for you moving away underneath here we've got an access hatch and in there i put your tire inflation kit doesn't come with a spare wheel it's just a tire inflator and then under this floor area here is where your wastewater valve will drain so you want to lift the unit up and you want to drain it down and that will empty the wastewater out about midpoint of this seat here underneath the vehicle and then to close it off you would just simply push that back down put that back in place that will allow you to set it up there the seats will lock in place that way and swivel with the little red lever that i mentioned before and your roof lights simply open by pressing the button in pulling towards you pressing back up and locking in place and again they have fly screens and blinds located just on there that basically concludes the instructional video we hope you find it useful please give us some feedback and we hope you enjoy your new Leica 4009 thank you